Hello, Ms. Beachy. It's Irene um, Hibbard. Doing, I'm going to do my enteral feeding today, um, which is kind of very difficult. I watched the video on Evolve, and without having this stuff, it's kind of, I basically have to explain it all. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my patient's room. I'm going to, I'm going to knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, my name's Irene. I'll be your nurse today. I'm going to wash my hands. Can I get your name and date of birth? She says, Amy, give me the right date of birth. Hey, Amy, um, I'm going to do your tube feeding today. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check her baseline weight, and I'm going to make sure that that's, make sure that her weight isn't too um, low or too high so that we aren't feeding her excessively or feeding her too little. Uh, and then after that, and, and if that checks out, and then I'm going to check her lab. So I'm going to check her electrolytes, um, potassium, pretty much all of her electrolytes and nutritional values. So next thing I'm going to do, I already washed my hands. I washed my hands. I already ID'd the patient. So uh, I'm going to ask the patient, do you have any allergies? She says, no, I don't have any allergies at all. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put on my gloves, PPE. Uh, and then I'm going to check her bowel sounds. I'm going to auscultate. So I'm going to check uh, her, her um, each uh, bowel, each quadrant. So uh, my, this is right, right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant. And I'm going to make sure that there's not excessive bowel sounds, hyperactive bowel sounds, hypoactive or absent bowel sounds and I'm gonna want to make sure that bowel sounds are between five and ten seconds so after that checks out I'm gonna put my patient to a 45 degree angle semi Fowlers semi high Fowlers and I'm going to get my formula and my formula is gonna be this candle so uh, when I get the formula I'm gonna check and make sure that the expiration date is okay and I'm going to make sure that it's actually the right formula for my patient that was ordered. So once the expiration date checks out, um, I'm going to watch, if this isn't, sorry, this is for an open bag enteral tube feeding. So for the open one, I'm going to wipe the top of the can and I'm going to make sure it's in room temperature. I'm going to, so I cleaned it and then I'm going to open it and then I'm going to pour it into the top of the feeding bag. So that's for an open bag one. So for a closed one, a closed one, you do the same thing. You make sure that the expiration date isn't overdue, isn't past due. Make sure it's at room temperature. And then you actually shake it. You shake it and then you connect it to the tube feeding, to the tube. So after that, uh, I would check the GVR. Um, and for that, you want to uh, get a syringe and I don't need this. Um, after that, you want to get a syringe and fill it with 10 to 30 millimeters of air, and then you're going to push it through their tube, and then you're going to actually pull it back out. So, sorry. And then when you pull it back out, you're going to note that volume, and that's the the aspiration volume. You're going to note that and then document it. And then if it's over 500, you withhold uh, the feeding. So, and then after you do that, note it, uh, and then push it back in. And then after that, you want to flush the tubing with 30 millimeters of water. And so after that, you want to label your bag that you just did. So when you, you label it with uh, your initials as a nurse, you label it with initials, the time and date, and then what the strength is, the rate of the, the rate it is infusing at, and so forth. And you also want to note that you should flush your tubes, you should flush your tubing before and after feeding, and if it's continual feeding, you want to do it every four hours. So Amy is okay and got her t feeding. And I'm, I'm, I'd make sure that her her tubing is correctly placed. The correct way to do it is to actually do an x-ray. <laughs> but, yeah. So, 
after I make sure that she's not going to aspirate or anything and she's not a risk for aspiration, I'd leave her at a 45 degree angle still. And I would pretty much wash my hands and ask her if she needs anything before I leave and then take off. So, enteral feeding. Thank you.